Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on Microsoft Word. So the topic we are going to see today is how to insert formulas in Microsoft Word. To understand this topic, we need to understand the concept called cell reference. So what is cell reference? Let's go to Microsoft Excel. In Excel, each column is identified using an alphabet. Say column A, column B, column C and so on and each row is identified using a number like row 1, row 2, row 3 and so on and all these boxes in Microsoft Excel are called as cells and each cell has its own unique cell reference. Cell reference is nothing but an address to that particular cell. So this particular cell which I have selected right now has an address of E9 which Microsoft uses, that is Microsoft Excel uses to identify this particular cell. So the same concept can be used in Microsoft Word to identify a cell within a table. So here the cell B, B4 has the value 80. B4 is nothing but B, B column and fourth row. Let's take a close look at these two tables. As you can see both the tables have equal number of rows and equal number of columns and you can also notice that both the tables have values in B2, B3 and B4. So whenever if I'm going to use any one of these cell references in any one of my formulas say for example if I'm going to use B2 Microsoft Word will be quite confused to which B2 I'm referring to whether I'm referring to the B2 in table 1 or B2 in table 2. So in order to avoid this confusion all I have to do is to make sure I give a unique name or nickname for this particular table. So how can I do that? You just select the table 1 and go to insert and click on bookmark. And I'm going to type a name under bookmark name. So whatever I'm going to type here should be relevant to whatever table I have here. So I'm going to give it as student 1 marks and click on add. So similarly I'm going to select student 2 marks table and I'm going to give a nickname for that, that is bookmark name. So here I'm going to name it as student 2 marks and click on add. So right now, as you can see, student 1 marks is mapped to this first table. To check that out, you click on go to and you can see student 1 marks is mapped to this particular table. Check the second one, so you can see this one is mapped to student 2 marks table. In order to insert a formula in Microsoft Word, you hold on the control key on your keyboard and then press F9 to insert two curly braces. So within the curly braces, you type in the formula. The built-in formula for calculating total is equal to SUM, open bracket, and after that you insert that nickname, student1 marks. Let me expand this for better readability. So the formula is equal to sum open bracket student1 marks space the cell reference of 99 that is b2 so i'm going to give it as b2 colon the last value in the range that is b4 i close the bracket so what it basically does is sum of student1 marks refers to this particular table and b2 refers to the starting value in the range colon b4 refers to the last value in the range so you close the bracket and right click anywhere in the gray field and say update field so this gives you total marks for student 1 so you can do the same for student 2 and let's insert two curly braces hold on the control key and then press F9 start typing the built-in function equal to sum open bracket and here we are going to use the nickname student2 marks space b2 colon b4 and close it. After doing that you right click anywhere within the gray field and say update field. So this one calculates the total mark for student2. You can also calculate average mark for student1. Hold on the control key and press F9. Within the curly braces you use the built-in function equal to average open bracket you have to use the nickname student one marks space the cell reference b2 colon b4 
close the bracket and right click anywhere in the gray field and say update field likewise for student 2 hold on the control key and press f9 then equal to average open bracket student 2 marks space the starting cell reference within the range b2 colon b4 close the bracket and right click anywhere in the gray and say update field let's change some values here after changing the value you can see the value in total marks is yet to be changed if the value doesn't change first left click on that particular field and hold on the shift key on your keyboard and then press f9 to get into the formula edit mode just right click and say update field right now you can see the field has got updated similarly the average mark has to be updated right click on the field and say update field formula edit mode you first left click on the particular field and then hold on the shift key and then press F9 to get into formula edit mode you can edit the formula and you can click anywhere in the gray field and say update field and that's it so this is how you insert formulas in Microsoft Word hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching